Hello, Jose Levegri here from Spotify, and I'm going to show you in this quick tip video how to add tooltips to your column headers or row headers for data tables, cross tables, or even graphical tables. And it's very simple, it's a common request, and I created this article for you guys. It's called the JavaScript Column Headers Tooltips for Spotify, and you can put tooltips in your headers, and you can see here in the bottom the tooltip, and this tooltip is rendered as HTML, so you can also put images. And here is um, an example of an image. Here's a, a graphical table. The population here, I have the image. So you basically can have um, HTML in your tooltips. So let me show you how that works. Uh, it's only one script that you need. So you just basically copy this, this script. I'm going to put it in my clipboard and I'm going to Spotfire and I'm going to use this analysis. Let me open an example from the library. Let's go to this one, for example, the expense analyzer. And let's say that I wanna have more information about these, these uh, headers. So what I do is I'm gonna take any text area. Let's look at this one and forget about the HTML. We don't need the HTML or you can create a new text area anywhere. And I'm going to add the script. I'm gonna create a new script. I'm gonna call it tooltips. And then I am going to paste it here. It's always a good practice to add the location of the, the script where you got it from in the description, just for reference. Okay, so paste it here and uh, all right. So it's not gonna work because there's something I need to change and this is the tooltip definition. Here I have the header or the, the row or the header and then the description. So the tooltips has to be lowercase and the description you can add HTML like this if you want to add a new line or if you want to add a, um, an image, here is the, the markup for the image. The image has to be hosted somewhere, but um, for a basic form, you have to have the name of the, of the header. Let's do invoice number. It has to be um, lowercase, and then I can put the description and put the description right there. So let's see how it works and click OK. And when I click OK, the script runs. I can close this and then I see the tooltip down in the bottom. Uh, nothing else works because I only define that. It's looking for the invoice number in the headers. OK, so I made the changes and now you can you can see all my headers and the definition. I added some uh, HTML markup so I can see both. So let's see how, how that looks. Click OK. I changed the definition and now I can see the, the tooltip right there. So if you want to change, let's say, the, the background on, and all the CSS or the styles of your tooltip, then you can do so in the bottom section when I use the, this uh, tooltip definition. So if, if I want to have the, the, the background white and the text black, I can just do so. And when I click OK, now the the, the tooltip is, is uh, black and white. OK, now let's see how it works with different scenarios. I have a data table right here, a cross table, and a graphical table. So my headers, they still work the same. Now on my cross table, I have also my finance, marketing, and product management. And this is just a department. And uh, I have to make that changes in the script so I can add those headers, finance, marketing, and product management into my code. And here in the graphical table, it should work the same, but it doesn't because I have to do another change in the code. And that is something I want to point you out. If you look closely to the script, if you go to the to this part right here, I, I uh, commented out this, this line. So what's happening is that it's looking for a column header element um, in this line. But if I want to also do column headers and rows headers, I just uncomment the last one, which is going to look for either of those. When I click OK, then now the tooltip works on my row headers. Just something to keep in mind if you want only to do column headers, row headers, or both. Thank you, and that's it. Uh, I hope you like it, and see you in the next Quick tick video don't forget to like and subscribe and give us your comments if you want to achieve something something else for or ideas for a quick tip video